All right, we're back with another resource pack series video. This one's gonna be covering alternate textures and random blocks. This is a vanilla method, doesn't require Optifine or MC Patcher. It will still work if you have those installed, but you don't need it in order to make it work. And you can see I've done the hay bale bale ties here, changed the colors, done the diamond ore, made it look different and also changed the oak wood planks here a little bit to give it a bit of variation. And we'll be going over the weight values. As you can see, this block here is very less common compared to the rest. So that has to do with weight values. So stay tuned to see all that in this video. All right, so first things first, let's head into our resource pack folder. If you don't know how to get to this step, check out episode one of my series and I'll show you how to get here. Head into the Assets folder, then into Minecraft, then head into Textures, and head into Blocks. Now you're going to want to pick the block that you want to randomize. So we're going to do the bookshelf. I'm just going to change the view here. So let's go uh, to B and find the bookshelf. There it is. And we're going to open it up with an image editing software. Now the first step is you need to create your images that you want. So you need to create your randomized bookshelves and then, or any, whatever texture you're gonna do and then export them. So I'm gonna create mine and then I'll show you where to go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've done one texture here. I've changed up how the bookshelf is gonna look. Now I'm gonna head over to the export. We're gonna click export and we're gonna do PNG and you wanna make sure you keep the name the same bookshelf, but then just add a number one next to it for your first one. And for your second one, you're gonna do number two, third one, three, fourth one, four, as many as you want, you can do. So I'm just gonna do, I think maybe three or four. So let me get back to you when I'm done that. Okay, so I finished all my bookshelf variants here. I didn't go too crazy, but just took out some of the books and moved them around. And you can see the names are all bookshelf1.png, bookshelf2.png, bookshelf3.png. So they all have to be different from each other and you just have to make sure you know what these names are. And you can see over here in our resource pack folder that the regular one is just called bookshelf.png. So now that we have all our textures done, what you wanna do is put them right into this blocks folder. So just stick them in there and they'll all go in in nice alphabetical order. Now that they're all in there, we can go on to coding them into the game. Coding, not really coding, just adding in some written code into the game to make them appear in the game. So let's get into that. All right, I just wanted to say a quick thing here. This is way after the fact of the recording. I just wanted to say if you're using text edit on a Mac, there's one thing you wanna do when you're doing all these text documents. First, you wanna make sure it's a plain text. Um, and second, you wanna head into preferences, uh, click on open and save, and make sure you change your encoding type to Western Windows Latin one. This will ensure all of your text you type in here will be in the correct encoding and the correct format. If you're on Windows, that's already default if you're using the Notepad program, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so once you have your images installed in your blocks folder, you're going to want to head back a few layers in the resource pack. So we're going to head back to textures, and then we're going to head back into Minecraft. The first folder you should see is block states. Now what we're going to focus on is the models folder. So we're going to head inside of models and we're going to head inside of block. And right away, you'll see a bunch of .json files. These files contain all the models for each block in the game. So I'm just going to change the view just for ease of view. And you're going to want to find whichever block you're, you're creating. So since we're doing the bookshelf, we're going to look for bookshelf. So we find bookshelf.json. So let's open it up. So right away, we can see parent block cube column. So the parent model for this block is cube column. So it's just a standard model. You don't have to worry too much about this. And then under textures on the ends of the block, it's going to apply the texture planks oak from the folder blocks which is the folder that contains all the blocks. And on the side, it's going to apply the texture bookshelf from the folder blocks once again. So this is good. It's saying the bookshelf is, go is going to display the bookshelf texture on the sides and on the top, it's going to display 
the oak planks. But we have more bookshelf textures we want to display. So we need to create more of these JSON files for each one of our new textures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a subfolder in here and just call it bookshelf. This is just for clarity purposes. You could just put them into this folder, but there's a lot of textures already and you may get confused. So just create a new folder within here and we'll just call it bookshelf. There we go. Let's go up to bookshelf here. So you can see we have bookshelf and bookshelf.json. So we're gonna actually copy this bookshelf.json, copy, and we're gonna put it inside of this folder, paste. And since we have three new textures we wanna add, we're gonna need three of these. So I'm just going to paste in three. Now, what we wanna do is just keep all the names uniform so we don't get confused if we wanna edit it later. So for this one, I'm gonna call bookshelf one, for number two, we'll call it bookshelf two. And number three, bookshelf three. I'm getting rid of these spaces in here so it's easier. I recommend you have no spaces in your names so it's easier when you're writing in the JSON files. So make sure there's no spaces and you have all of your bookshelf.jsons, but we, they are all copies of the original bookshelf. So we need to go in and change some values. So let's head into bookshelf one here. We head inside and we see the same thing we saw before. The parent is that the textures on the ends are the oak planks. Now we wanna keep the end textures the same. I'm not concerned about changing those. But for bookshelf one, let's have the side texture be bookshelf one, which we created earlier. And if you have a different name, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you rename this here to whatever name you had, but mine was bookshelf one. And we'll hit save, as simple as that. And bookshelf two, we're gonna do the same thing here. Change this to bookshelf two. Hopefully I'm being clear here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But we're just basically changing it, whichever block model we want. We're changing the textures to our new ones. And we have to duplicate the JSON files. Bookshelf three, we will change to bookshelf three. So what we've just done is we've created a new folder in the models under models and block called bookshelf. We've copied the bookshelf.json three times into our new folder, renamed it so it matches our texture names that we had earlier and gone in and changed the texture name to whatever new texture name we had. So now there's one more step we have to do in order to have it fully activated in the game. So once you have all these, you are per all halfway there, you're good to go. So we're gonna back out one more time here. Back into block, back into the models folder, and one more step back into the Minecraft folder where we see block states, font, and all those files. We're actually gonna head into the block states file now. So open up your block states file. And once again, you'll see a bunch more JSON files. Now we wanna find what block we're editing again. And since we're doing bookshelves, we're gonna to head to bookshelf here, which is going to be in BO. There it is, bookshelf.json. So let's pop it open and see what we find. Now this one's looking pretty simple. All we see here is variance, normal, and then we have model bookshelf. So what this is saying is for the variance of the bookshelf, there's only one, which is normal, the normal state of the bookshelf. If you have a more complex block, there may be more variance and more states. I'm planning on doing a follow-up tutorial for some of the more complex blocks with these JSON files because I know they can be confusing. So if it's not out already, stay tuned for that video. So in the normal variant of the bookshelf, it's gonna display the model bookshelf which is bookshelf.json that we that we didn't edit that one earlier but what we need to do is we want it to display the regular bookshelf but we also want it to display our new ones so right off the bat we're going to create a little list of models 
Now, when you're editing in JSON, if you're not sure, what you have to do is create square brackets when you want to make a list here. So since we're going to make a list, we're going to start off with a square bracket. And in, in order to tell the game there's something else coming, we have to put a comma. So we're going to put a comma after this one. Now what we're going to do is basically just copy this here and paste it for all of our new JSON files and new textures that we just created in the models folder. So I'm just going to copy this, just copy, and we'll just paste it right after the comma here. There we go. Now we need to edit because our bookshelf is actually, we want to do bookshelf one. We're just going to put bookshelf one, but keep in mind, this is the path to bookshelf one dot JSON. So we put our bookshelf one file inside of a folder in the models folder inside a folder, which was called bookshelf. So we need to write bookshelf and then a slash. Now this is saying the model is located in bookshelf, bookshelf one. Now I understand this might be confusing for you. So let me open up finder window and show you what I mean. So actually I'm just going to open up my resource pack again. So now we have two, two windows open of the resource pack, this one down here and this one, we're going to head into assets into Minecraft and we're going to head back into models. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you why we typed what we typed and we're going to head into block. So this block, as you can see, bookshelf.json, this is the model which tells the game to apply the default bookshelf texture. That piece of code in our, this, in this JSON from block states is this one right here. It's saying apply the model bookshelf and it's just automatically saying it's from the folder block. However, with our new JSON files, we put them inside of this folder, which is called bookshelf, and we have bookshelf one, bookshelf two, bookshelf three. That's why on this one, I put the model is inside of the folder bookshelf, and it's called bookshelf one. So it's reaching to this folder right here. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process uh, two more times for our other two bookshelves. So I'm just going to do this. We'll copy this guy one more time here. There we go. So now we're done. We need to add a square bracket at the end. Don't forget about your square brackets, otherwise it won't work. And on the last uh, one in your list, you don't put a comma. Commas only on if there's something coming after, but there's nothing coming after this one, so there's no comma. So now we should be good to go to check in game and see if our bookshelves are working. So let's check. Okay, so we're back in game and right away you can tell that the bookshelves have been changed to the altered textures. So I should have four variants here. So let's see if we can see. We got the regular one there. We got the one with no books on the top row. The blue book leading, that's three. And the one with the red book on the top row. So there's four variants, they're all working. So that is how you get the variants working. Now there's one parameter we can edit with these variants. And that's the weight, like I said, with these oak planks, this one is very rare. So we're gonna make one of these very rare. So let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so the first step is head back into your resource pack folder, which we're already here, and then we're gonna head into assets, head into Minecraft, and we're gonna head back into block states and find the block that we were editing, which was the bookshelf. Pop back open your JSON file, and I'm just gonna stretch it out once again, just for easy visibility here. Now we need to add in a parameter called weight into each of these bookshelves, telling the game which one we want to have more weight than the other ones, or to appear more often than the other ones. So what we'll do is we'll make bookshelf three really rare. So this is going to have to have a lower weight value than all of the other ones. So to start off, I'll do it with this first one. What we're going to do is model bookshelf we have we're gonna put a comma to tell the game that there's more coming. So put a comma and then type 
quotations and type the word weight and end quotations and then a colon and now it's looking for a value so I'm gonna do the value of 5 and I'll explain why in one second now I'm gonna add the weight value just as I did here to all the rest of these Okay, so as you can see, I added the weight value for all of the rest of the bookshelves here. So the first one, we have a weight value of five, the second one, a weight value of five, the third one, a weight value of five, and the fourth one, a weight value of one. Now what the game does when calculating which blocks to display is it adds all of these values up and then will display uh, on a percentage basis. So it's gonna do, go five plus five plus five plus one, which is 16. So in 16 blocks, five of them will be the normal bookshelf, five of them will be the first bookshelf, five of them will be the second bookshelf, and one of them will be the third bookshelf. So let's head into the game and see if we can notice these differences. So here we are back in the game. I'm gonna reload my pack. Ooh. And you can see the bookshelves changed. And right away we could tell that Variant 3, which is this one here, where there's no books on the top shelf, is only displayed one time on this whole wall. So it's going to be much more rare than these other variants. So let's see, there we got another one there. So there's two, but as you can see, it's, it's much more rare than... See, we didn't get any there. So we only have two of those on this whole wall. So that's how you edit the weight variant. And I think that'll do it for this video. Stay tuned if I for my next video, which will be more advanced on some more advanced parameters and more advanced things about those uh, block states JSON files. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it helped you out. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. See ya.